And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Fizz. We're going to be playing um, another Twisted Fate deck. There's so many different variations that we can play. We're going to be trying just straight up Bilgewater, no other region. But for our other champion besides Twisted Fate, I kind of feel like Gangplank's kind of slow. And I wanted to have a, a little bit lower of a lower of a curve and everything and so we're going to be going with fizz plus i also just want to keep on trying out fizz decks i've only played fizz like two times and it didn't go so well but i feel like maybe this can can help us out so we're going to be playing fizz and and fizz is basically just our one drop if fizz dies it's okay we're not like sitting here trying to particularly protect fizz but it's just going to be our one mana card and we're going to be trying to steal all their stuff, though. You know, we have our Black Market Merchant, Pilfered Goods, Sleight of Hand, even going all three Sleight of Hand, and going with a Strong Arm uh, to be able to take one of their followers. This card's really good against Scythria, that a lot of people are playing six mana Scythria. This card is great there. Um, but, you know, then we'll have our Yordle Grifters will always hit, so that's going to be nice. They'll, they're never going to miss. Our Zap Spray Fin will hopefully get more Pilfered Goods or, or Sleight of Hands for us. Um, and that's kind of what we have. You may notice that I'm not going... So I'm not going with the the um, the Powder Kegs at all. I d I've just been pretty unimpressed with Dreadway Deckhand. Like, it gets you the Powder Keg, and then it just kind of sits around. I don't know. I'm, I'm going Coral Creatures instead, which I guess Coral Creatures also just kind of sits around. But I, I like having that extra spell more than a Powder Keg. Going with, like, that and Hired Gun and stuff in my two mana slots. We'll see how that goes, but I, I kind of, I really like those cards. Um, and I'll, I'm also playing one little warning shot in here that can protect Fizz or turn on our, um, our plunder. So let's give this a try, Twisted Fizz. We definitely need Bilgewater. 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 It may end up being that the, the, the two mana, the two drops with the uh, powder kegs will be better. We're going to find out. Also, we're seven hours into our 12-hour uh, stream here. I am eating, I uh, will be eating just a little bit while we play this one. So bear with me on that. Yeah, that's true. The attune with the coral creatures is really nice, and the one mana spells that you make are usually pretty good at just play one of these. They're pretty good at, at being able to be played proactively and trigger your your fizz and give your fizz elusive. We're going to try to get more use out of the Make It Rain. <laughs> We're probably turning on their Remembrance right now. I mean, hopefully not, but probably are. Gimme nice that. Time to plunder.
would have been really nice to have both black market merchants in play. But oh well. Okay, let's see. I would like to have Make It Rain kill this before my Grizzled Ranger does. I cost two, so I could have another four mana. What's the water like down there, guys? Ooh, sleight of hand. Could be good. Attack. All right, down to eight. So we can assume <clears throat> we can assume they're going to use unyielding spirit. I don't know if that even makes like a block worth it. I guess it kind of forces them to. We're just blocking with a one-two. Down. Hey, no, food's not for you, puppy. No, 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 no. I just gave y'all a treat. We just had a treat. We still just have so many cards. Well, it's kind of silly. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I got to uh, fire off like a warning shot first. Just have the the room for another warning shot. Whoops. Rude. Detain. Okay. I think I was going to play another just... I was basically going to do the same thing. I was just going to cast a warning shot, play another Yordle Grifter, and they 
they couldn't. Yeah, like they were gonna be dead. I was gonna do Yordle Grifter again though. Want to know? Alright, same matchup. Felt pretty good last time, but we did we did have a a really good hand. There's one merchant. <clears throat> Won all the merchants and pilfer goods. That's a good one. Especially for this part of our curve. It's a good one. See them play Remembrance. Okay, have their own Shadow Assassin. That's good. We'll just take it. Safety <clears throat> it's good to have this black marker merchant in play for the for the Yordle Grifter, and now we got another Yordle Grifter. Hmm. 
Crystal Ranger is so good. That card is good. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Fizz yet. We'll get to Fizz, though. We'll get there. Sure. Oh, see, there's Fizz. They got a bunch of cards over there, too. What do you got? Ooh, a one-mana single combat. Could probably be useful somewhere. Especially if we can get a, a lifesteal Radiant Guardian out there. Why wouldn't the 3 2 attack? Why are we attacking with that three two? Put him down to six. I kind of liked having that warning shot to be able to trigger Fizz, but you know we can go. We have like, you know, we can play your or after we can get another warning shot. We got a lot of mana though, <clears throat> so what do they want to do with all this mana? That one's pretty tough. Alright, gonna stun the, the tough, the big tough thing. Oh, 
I guess I do need to play one more spell also to level up Fizz. I want to play the Jaw Hunters, but I also want to level up this Fizz. Yeah, you don't want to class me. The Jaw Hunters to fight Karma. We have judgment. If they if they go judgment, I have single combat. The dragon binds us. Yeah, they know yeah, they know about the single combat that I have. They know about it. Cause I I stole it from their hand. Hesitation to tell. So they they know this is my trick. He is. See, I feel like Fizz has been better than Gangplank would be. I feel like Gangplank's just kind of too slow and, like, we want cheaper things, and that's why the, the Fizz is so good. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, well, this would have them down to three. So, single combat is fighting the 2-2. Two -two. So, okay, so even if I... Unify single combat and kill theirs. We'd only put them down to one. Alright, well we are going to... We have this thing that's going to die anyway. Fight Karma. I'm going to let them bounce the Yordle back to my hand. That card's pretty cool. That looked like regular Inside of Ages. That was like Karma's Inside of Ages. That was a regular one, so that so Karma must must have created that. Jump the waters. Ooh, slide of hand. The sun is shining. We should too. Taking all their Radiant Guardians. Illuminate the enemy! Hmm. Maybe I should start with the Grizzled Ranger. Whatever, I could probably just take four, right? Yeah, I could just take four. The question is whether we want to, whether I want to steal one card from their hand with sleight of hand, or if I want to play a Jaw Hunters. That's what I'm kind of debating between. Steal a card from their hand. The toughness on Vi really makes Vi amazing. Cool. I'll take that deny, thank you. Lady luck is 
There we go. Alright, 2 0 oh against Karma Lux. <laughs> Alright, we're finding a Fizz deck. Fizz deck that works. No, it's not it's not for you, doggos. You had your snack. No, get get down. Yeah, I guess we could steal a final spark if it was in hand. That'd be pretty metal. If like Lux had less than four health and like made a final spark and then we played that and stole the final spark and then killed their own Lux with their with her own final spark. Probably. You want my food, don't you, puppy? Unfortunately, we don't have like the mana to like we don't like our our spell mana is already full. So if we you know we don't get to attune. Something good. Boo. Give me something good. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So doing this. The spray fin. The rot must be cut away. So we get that spell mana. You defile the grove. Dang. I was hoping they wouldn't block. I didn't actually want them to block, but, but there's a good chance they wouldn't block. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. You are not wanted here, intruder. Like that's it. Wow. Maokai, not a big fan of Twisted Fate, doesn't seem like. Seem like Maokai likes Twisted Fate. Hesitation to tell. No. Wait, that doesn't do anything. That was Maokai sat magic? One, two, three. So we'd have six mana next turn. So I could have seven with spells. I think I'll just hold on to Thorny Toad. Broken. 
Trying to get Maokai out of here to keep them from tossing. Like they play whatever ally they don't get to just toss. Boo. Grifter just uses my mana so much better. That's fine. We don't need to use the mana that much better. We can save it because we can save the spell mana. No. It's the worst spell. Awesome, Rivalis. That's scary. Why do they challenge the 7-5 and just hit me for a million damage? Treasure Trove! options. Danger pay. Together at last. That's bad. Yeah, you can definitely play Lee Sin and Fizz together, absolutely. Yeah, they, they work pretty well together. The thing is, is... Twisted Fate just works better than either card in that kind of deck. Twisted Fate's just so good that it's, it's hard to play the two of them together without Twisted Fate. Can we run him out of cards? Uh-oh. 
That's bad. This is bad. If only I had just like infinite mana and could just play everything. Oh, right. Made choices. Fire everywhere. They're at two cards. Our deck's doing really well. We're, we're you know, we're two and zero. Oh, look, looking like we're likely gonna be two and one. Maokai kind of wrecked us, but as you can tell, like our deck has lots of card draw. Two cards left. Can I get like another like pilfered goods or something like that? The Isles will bloom again. I only have four cards myself. Yeah, I mean, we have to have room for five cards before we play Treasure Trove, or, you know, like, room for, for you know, like, you can only have ten in hand still. Give them room to spread their leaves. Hey, Avon Snow with the raid. Aven Snow was also in here earlier. Hey, welcome back. Another great streamer there. If y'all aren't following Aven Snow, you should be. Um, I need one more mana. Let's see if this works. Guessing it won't. Okay. It does. Interesting. So we don't we don't need to play the parlay to turn on Riptide Rex now. Right, shuffle the enemy into your enemy deck if you have Nautilus. Right, 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 right. Nautilus is Riptide. Okay. Guess we're just shuffling that into the deck. Steal that, cost six mana. And then I just play Jaw Hunters, Jaw Hunters. I wanna play Rex, but the problem with playing Rex is if we don't trigger this Abyssal Eye three times, we lose. Oh man, I wanna play the Rex. I need three of the seven triggers to hit here though. Not the safe play. The safe play is to take that thing. So each one would have four targets. Each Rex thing would have four targets. 
So 25% chance, and we need three of the seven to hit this 25% chance. Let's go for it. No. Basically, the problem... Because the problem with... I don't know. I just felt like that was my best, my best chance. Yeah, they're just on a bunch of Riptides. Kind of felt like blocking would be problematic. Because they're just going to have a bunch of Nautilus Riptides. The... Yeah, we couldn't really save Grass for the Eye. Because I want. I just wanted to clear out one of their possibilities. I wish we had one more man and I could have dealt one to that 2-1. That would have been really nice. I mean, maybe I just need to Treasure Trove and get, like, two cards and just see if we got, like, two amazing cards. Unfortunately, we won't know what, we'll, what we would have gotten. No, the, the Nautiluses are being shuffled back into their deck. So, like, they weren't going to mill out. That was close. I didn't have enough mana to play all the stuff that we had. We had, you know, just a ton of stuff, but couldn't play everything. Maokai, like, turn four Maokai, we never removed it. It just tossed it and just got them to be a little too fast for me. They got hypercharged Maokai. And... This has got to be... This is probably not a great matchup. Burn... Really, our deck's built for control. Yeah, real close game. I like our deck though. Let me show you what I can do. Um, I haven't played that Teemo Investigator deck before. Danger pay. Spell from them. Not a saboteur. Ugh. Better than eating. Explosives prime. Yeah, we played against a, an opponent playing Timo Shroom Plunder deck. It was pretty cool. I could get you the list. They came in here and sent me the list afterwards, which was awesome. And I think I'm I'm probably gonna be playing it like tomorrow, probably. We'll see. I'll, I'll be playing it soon. That's the code. Timo and Sejuani. Yep, the, the puff caps do count as Nexus damage for Sejuani and for Plunder.
Yeah, that, that's what that deck is. It's it's Sejuani deck. Time to go. Basically, just don't want to play Make a Rain and risk taking that extra two, even though I guess we were taking the extra two if we don't play it. How do we kill them fast enough? I don't think Shen's too good. I don't think there's really enough support for Shen. And, you know, it's a 2-5 it's a champion that's not doing anything unless you're attacking with something else, and then you give a barrier, and it, just compared to other champions, it's just not as good. You get in jettison. It's like the only bad card. No That's the card I need, or like I wanted, was parlay. So we're taking uh, three damage. I guess plus this, five. I wish I could respond to like my red card. I wish I could play this as a red card and then also respond and, and uh, play the both make it rains. I guess I can. I could steal the Boom Crew rookie, I suppose. I wish I could also play like these make it rains before attack. So like we're down to two li or we're down to three life. It's basically if they have three points of burn, I'm dead. Yeah, I mean these make it rains just don't even matter. That's all that's all it is about. They don't have three points of burn. We win. If they do, we lose. I don't know. Should I have strong armed the Boom Crew rookie? Gosh, they had five points of burn, so it wouldn't have mattered. They would just go to untap. So yeah, they still have five more points. Ugh. <laughs> Boom Crew rookie, you so good. If I just double make it rain and parlay. The match has been great today. They're just so close. We're back and forth. You know, like we're basically 500 on the day for the most part. Besides the Starlet Fate, everything went wrong there. But um, it seems like we either like win fairly easily. No, not, not really. Kind of. But or like we have like really close games that we lose. I have lost so many close games today, it's been crazy. Like so many like where it's just one turn off kind of thing. 
All right, control again. And I think our control matchup should be good. The parlay turns on my black market merchant. Oh, I'm gonna keep it. So I can black market merchant on turn two. And then hopefully attack on turn, you know, hopefully turn three attack, like they haven't played anything yet, and then we slide of hand. Cool. Haven't played anything yet. I would have to say Twisted, like if, like which of the new champions to invest in first, I would say Twisted Fate. Vi would be choice number two. Those look to be the strongest champions. There, There's a million different ways to play Twisted Fate. It just goes in everything. And it's really good. Don't really need the fizz. Partly. And this doesn't work. We'll have Twisted Fate. does work. It's really tempting just to play the two sleight of hands. What else you got? Thermogenic beam. That will kill Vi. Thank you. Hit him where it hurts. Just cast this now. And we can use it to, to protect Fizz. And to, to trigger Fizz. Let's play this thing. Fair enough. Let me at him. 
All right, you go get him, Fizz. That's not bad. That kills. That does kill Vi. Cost seven. Oh right, we're only five out of six because our other spell fizzled. Right, right. This has looked pretty good. Oh, come on, come on. I think I want to just save mana. Or I can go like... Scrap shot and like twisted fate. I'm glad we saved the mana and didn't just play the salvage last turn. Try to use this to, to get rid of I. That, that doesn't matter. I guess they just want Fizz out of here, off the battlefield. Fair enough. You kill the you kill the Fizz. Claws of the Dragon. I haven't spent I haven't played a spell this turn. Oh my god, how how do you struggle with this jump? It's a very easy jump for you. Puppy tries to jump like the front to like the front of my lap instead of jumping over the like, he just, like, hangs on the side of the chair. What you doing, pup? Just past turn. And they call me a shark. And they call me a shark. She's really shy, though. She doesn't like the computer screens. So she doesn't doesn't look at them at all. It was in the cards. She's real shy. Puppy gamer. Hey, oh, there there she is. We're updating. We went three and two. I'm petting Harvey with my left hand because she goes crazy if I just stop petting her, especially with Pop on my lap. She's real jealous, so. Pen her. Anyway, uh, there we go. Twisted Fizz. We went three and two, and honestly, Fizz looked good. Um, you know, like it's not. It, it really felt better than Gangplank. We have plenty of cards with this deck, and like we didn't really struggle of having things to do. So having a card that could impact the game that only cost one mana was really nice. And yeah, you know, we discarded it once to get excited when we didn't need it, but then we got one later on, and it and it did did some work. It also gets like the elusive damage in later, which this deck certainly likes because all the all the damage adds up. Um, so yeah, I liked it quite a bit. Yeah, I think it I think it did work work real well. Um, 
Yeah, these cards, you know, like Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods, Slide of Hand, they are awesome. Coral Creatures and Hired Gun are probably our worst creatures, but honestly, the Coral Creatures did pretty good, like a lot of times getting us parlays. There was other times, though, it would just make um, a useless one-mana spell. We could probably splash something and not make it just 40. Um, I didn't, you know, like, whoops. The obvious is, like, Splash Deny and Will of Ionia, but we already have, like, these other four-mana cards where I didn't really want to splash four-mana cards. We could maybe splash a good two-drop instead of Hired Gun Coral Creatures, but I don't know exactly what that would be. Maybe it's Demacia, you get War Chefs and Bright Steel Protector. Um, maybe that's what you do. Maybe it's, I mean, obviously PNZ has Boom Crew Rookie. They don't really have, I mean, I guess they have the other one, the, um, I guess Boom, and Boom Crew Rookie trigger, you know, you attack, you trigger Plunder. So that's really nice. Maybe it's Splash PNZ for Boom Crew Rookie. Um, what do you think, Pup? <laughs> she's just, she's just laying her head on my desk. Like this, this head's too, too heavy. Gotta just put it somewhere. Anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube later on, let me know in the comments what you think. Like, if we would splash like one card in this deck, what would you what would you take out and what would you replace it with? Like, what would be one card to replace in, you know, out of any card that you could have? What would you want? Yeah. But yeah, the fizz the fizz actually was pretty good. I liked it. This deck looks really, really good against Control, just like our Twisted Ezreal. We played against Control three times and won all of those. The Maokai Nautilus deck beat us with the turn four Maokai that really tossed their deck fast, and then we just didn't... They were just a little too fast for us, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad matchup, but, you know, like, they... Turn four Maokai was supercharged, and then, you know, we lost to the Burn deck, where it was a, definitely a real close game against the Burn deck but uh, they ended up having just enough burn, which is, you know, what the burn deck's trying to do. All right, but that's it here for Twisted Fizz. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.